One of the things that is really critical for people to understand is with whether it's yourself or it's with your kids, particularly kids on the spectrum, the autism spectrum, is they have to be pooping. Constipation is an epidemic in this country. Okay? Ideally, now this is ideal, we should be pooping or having a bowel movement for every meal that we eat. All right? Now, that's a lot to ask of a lot of people. Some people eat five meals a day. Pooping five times a day ain't going to happen. All right? So for kids, they should be at least having a bowel movement once or twice a day. Twice a day would be better. Every other day, not good enough. All right? For a parent to understand that they have to keep their, their child's bowels moving is one of the most important treatments for overall health recovery, optimization of health, and proper digestive function. And the reason is, is that we're eating every day. Kids aren't eating just once a day or twice a day. They're eating all day long, okay? And so you want to keep the, the, the stool moving out of the bowel. Why constipation is such a problem, particularly for a child on the autistic spectrum, is something called auto-intoxication, okay? We know that bacteria, yeast, and parasites are things that we're constantly exposed to in our environment. One of the ways that we get rid of these things is through our stool. If you're constipated and you're not moving stool out of your digestive tract, those toxins, many of them are our own sort of metabolic toxins that our body dumps into our gut, which are, we're supposed to be getting rid of, will be reabsorbed. I've seen it over and over again where a child becomes more autistic, worse eye contact, bad behavior, irritability, when they become more constipated. And when their bowels are working more regularly, they're much more normal. One of the things that you want to do with your child, you know, particularly to help them or promote good digestive function, obviously, is a good diet. Fresh fruits and vegetables, you know, whole grains, these types of things, whole food. Well, we all know that that is a major challenge for parents on the, with, with whose kids are on the spectrum because most of these kids don't have a good diet. They self-limit their diet. And we know, too, many of them are on a gluten-casein-free diet, which tends to eliminate a lot of the grain products. Okay? So to help remedy the situation, there are some certain things that we can use to help your kids move their bowels more effectively. What we have here is a mixture of different supplement products that can be used. Now, you can use one. You can use all of them. You can use just a few. It doesn't really matter. The ultimate goal is to get them to poop more frequently. Okay? One real simple remedy that can help is magnesium. Okay? Magnesium comes in many different forms, but one of the things magnesium does is it's a relaxing mineral, okay? particularly in the digestive tract. So you can use a kind of a magnesium powder, 250, 400, 500 milligrams of magnesium, sometimes given at bedtime, will help a child move their bowels more easily in the morning. Okay, magnesium citrate is a good form of magnesium uh, that helps to uh, 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 cause relaxation in the digestive tract. You can use some sort of a liquid magnesium. Okay, this may be a little bit more easy, easier to mix it in juice, very easy to do. With this particular magnesium, three quarters, one and a half, uh, three quarters of a teaspoon, um, maybe one to two teaspoons. Um, once or twice a day for a child who's got a really sort of uh, problem with constipation. Another little trick, we know that uh, the, the, one of the remedies we, we recommend for kids on the spectrum are something called probiotics. And these are the good bacterial supplements that help to you know, resupply good bacteria in the digestive tract. Well, one little thing you can do is if your child is having a hard time having a bowel movement is just give ever-increasing amounts of probiotics. This particular probiotic has about 20 to 30 billion organisms per capsule, which is quite high, but it's not toxic. I mean, you can just give more and more and more of it. The worst thing that's going to happen is they start to get loose stools. Well, great. That's what we're looking for, right? One other nice little trick, vitamin C powder, okay? There's no limit in how much you might need to use. I had one child who needed 20,000 grams of vitamin C in order to induce a bowel movement, and that's what was needed. He hadn't pooped in three or four days. Okay, bad. So real simple. Start with 1,000 milligrams, go to 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. Don't necessarily know what it will take. You can do it within a 12 to 24 hour period. 
You may need to use quite a bit, okay? But the reason vitamin C powder can work so well is there's only so much vitamin C the body will absorb at any one time. The rest, it tends to cause the bowel to flush. One of my favorite remedies I like to use for many kids are herbal um, blends, particularly liquid or herbal extracts, okay? And these are some remedies here that are specific for children. Uh, because they're made with what's called a glycerin base, so they're sweet tasting. They can be just dropped right in the mouth. You can mix in a little bit of juice. Um, and what I normally do, this particular one here called lower bowel formula, generally half to one dropper full to start with at dinner time. You can increase it every evening um, to try to help with bowel movements through the next day. The Kitty Reg is a nice blend that can be taken one to two dropper fulls two to three times a day. The, the point here about herbal remedies, and particularly herbal remedies that are specific for bowel movements, is use enough to make it work. One of the problems people have with herbal remedies is they don't use enough. Okay, So the stuff isn't dangerous. We're just using ever-increasing amounts to do the job, and that's what we're looking for.